physics is uh, perhaps the most fundamental among all the branches of science. And by having a perfect theory about our universe in physics, that means we can understand you know, where we come from and where we are heading into in the future. My name is uh, Kim Siang Kao. I'm coming from Malaysia and um, I'm currently a, a postdoc research associate at the University of Washington in the US. My experiment, uh, which is called Neon G-2, so it is a, a project to uh, study the properties of a particle which we call Neon. So essentially it is a, a heavier version of electron, uh, but it decays. Fermilab is a, is a national lab uh, run by the Department of Energy of the United States. For a project of this scale, we need an accelerator. And to run an accelerator, you need a huge facility, which is usually not available in a university. And we, that is why we come to Fermilab, because they have this accelerator that could produce the muon beam that we need. And as a result, there are more than 20 universities uh, joining this project, coming from all around the world. So what is so special about this Mion is that it, it is like a, uh, a magnet. So you can imagine it has a, a north pole and then has a south pole. And then it's also rota rotating at all the time, so it has its angular momentum. If you put this Mion, let's say it's uh, north pole and south pole is like this, and then if you put it into a magnetic field, that is pointing upward. And then, uh, due to the interaction between the spin and the magnetic field, it will uh, rotate in the magnetic field. And how fast this um, rotates in the field Depending, it's depending on the number of particles that we know in our universe and also the number of interactions between them. So which means once we put in all the particles and the interactions, we can predict how fast it will rotate in the magnetic field. And what is more interesting is that what is being predicted by uh, the model that we have, which is called the standard model, is actually slower than what we measured uh, or physicists measured uh, in New York uh, 20 years ago. What it means is that there could be uh, some unknown particles lurking around in our universe that we don't know about. And this is the, uh, the attractiveness of this project because we can probe these unknown particles indirectly. So Naka Sensei is my first mentor in particle physics. He's the first person who uh, led me into the world of particle physics, especially experimental particle physics. One of the culture that I like a lot about Kyoto University is the culture of Jishu Zemi or self-directed learning. So that means I always you know, form a group with like three to four students and then we teach each other um, interesting topics like quantum mechanics and so on. So as a result, um, I tend to learn uh, much better in how to teach each other and also to explain uh, complex ideas. And these are the things that I am still using until nowadays when I organize workshops or seminars and I, man I managed to get everybody up to speed into difficult topics or difficult analysis projects of the experiment. What I want to say is that uh, if you are working as a researcher in physics, and in particular particle physics, that means you are working in a frontier of knowledge about our universe. And then um, the uh, opportunity to be the first one you know, to discover or to unlock the mystery of the universe is what uh, wakes me up every day in the morning. And also, uh, it's very common that you know, when we have a breakthrough in one of the fields in physics, usually that also leads to uh, breakthroughs in other fields in physics or beyond physics. So my short-term goal is to be able to produce the results for the experiment within the next six months. And then my mid-term goal is to investigate another properties of the MEON, which we call the electric dipole moment. And in the longer term, uh, I hope to expand my knowledge to not just in the physics, but also to, uh, to bring a positive impact to, to hum human's life on a daily basis. <laughs>